Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, bringing you another cryptocurrency video. In today's video, we're going to be answering the question, what is NEO? Now, NEO is a coin that is oftentimes uh, related to uh, other coins like uh, Ethereum and EOS. It's often called the Ethereum Killer, which there's a lot of coins that are called the Ethereum Killer because a lot of coins aim to do something similar to what Ethereum does, but do it better. And NEO does do a lot of things similar to Ethereum, and it does do a lot of them better. It's also called the Ethereum of China because it's a cryptocurrency that's based out of China, and like I said earlier, it does a lot of things very similar to Ethereum. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the history of the coin, I'm going to be going over the specifics and the technicals, I'm going to be going over how it's similar and different to some other cryptocurrencies, I'm going to be going over the aims, what the coin aims to do, what its actual like market plans are, and I'm going to be talking about gas, which is another cryptocurrency that's based around uh, NEO. they are two uh, sister coins that build off of one another and I'll be going over that later on the video. If you want like a table of contents of the video, that will be in the description below if you want to jump around in the video. So let's get right into it. NEO was originally founded or originally created by a company called OnChain, which is an R&D um which is an R&D company in China. They created the coin under the name AntShares and it had a rebranding in 2017 to the name NEO. And as we can see here on the chart, if I can bring the chart up real quick, this was right around midway through uh, 2017 and as we can see that's right around when neo started picking up for a long time down here we can see time down here neo was worth under a dollar under a dollar under a dollar under a dollar and then all of a sudden we ran up to about uh six dollars ten dollars and then we had a nice run up to 43 dollars a little more than that close to 50 dollars i bought my first neo down here around 15 dollars and i sold it at 30 for a profit i didn't hold on to it if i had it i would have been very happy because it ran all the way up to 160 dollars which would have been nearly a 10x on my money in the span of a little more than three months, which is not uncommon in cryptocurrency, but is certainly very nice. Uh, NEO is currently sitting right around $80, right around $85 because the entire market's crashing. Well, not crashing, it's in retracement. But anyway, let's talk about the coin specifics. Now, NEO has a circulating supply of 65 million NEO. It has a total supply of 100 million NEO. Only 100 million NEO will ever be created, and that's an important number because the thing about NEO is it's not divisible like Bitcoin is. It can't be divided into fractions the same way Bitcoin can. If you're new here or if you're not new here, you'll know that Bitcoin is divisible down to eight decimals. You can have 0 0.0000001 Bitcoin. You can only have one NEO. You cannot have 1.172359 NEO. Now, exchanges might list it as if you have that much, but if you try to withdraw, you're not going to be able to move it because NEO is only divisible down to one and uh, down to one NEO. And the reason for that goes into the governance system of NEO because NEO actually acts as a share of a company rather than an actual currency. Gas, the sister currency to NEO, is the currency is the coin that actually acts as a currency, and I'll be getting into that later on, later on when I talk about gas. But let's go into some similarities and differences between NEO and other cryptocurrencies. Now, NEO is very similar to some coins such as Ethereum here. It's very similar to coins as EO, such as EOS, like I talked about earlier. All three of these coins aim to do some similar things. They aim to allow you to build decentralized applications and they aim to allow you to build smart contracts on top of their blockchains which would allow for massive industrial and commercial use in the cryptocurrency which will bring mass adoption to the cryptocurrency which is really probably one of the most lucrative ways to get a cryptocurrency up here in the top 10 right now EO, uh, eos neo they're neck and neck right now in market cap neo is a little bit bigger because neo uh, neo is a little bit older ethereum is a lot older and it's a lot bigger we could foresee uh, NEO overtaking Ethereum, but I'll be talking about that in tomorrow's video, which is going to be called uh, the uh, uh, NEO price prediction. There'll be links to that in the description and probably a tag in the top right right about now when that video goes up. So, what are some, what are some similarities between NEO and Ethereum? Now, NEO, like I said, is very similar to Ethereum and what it aims to do. One thing that's interesting about NEO and Ethereum is that Ethereum... Um, Ethereum requires coders to learn a proprietary coding language called Solidity. Now, it's a coding language that is very complicated, but since it's very complicated, it's very versatile, and you can do a lot Auto with that coding language. Initiated. Now, Auto that's kind of a canceled. problem with Ethereum, because a lot of people that are going to code uh, decentralized applications or smart contracts or what have you on the Ethereum blockchain, they have to go learn an entire new coding language. The thing about NEO is NEO does the same thing, except it actually allows you to use other coding languages such as JavaScript and C Sharp. I think they have something about this down here on their website. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, maybe they don't. Here in Developer, they may. But the fact is they allow you to code in several different languages such as C Sharp and JavaScript, which if you're not familiar with coding, they are much, uh, they're much more, e they're much, um, they're more simple and more widely 
known about and um, use coding languages in the industry. So that's a very that's definitely a plus for Neo. Now Neo is also very similar to EOS. They have a very similar voting system, which allows you to actually vote on who you want to be the person that generates the blocks. In EOS, those people are considered are uh, con well, they're called witnesses. In Neo, they're called consensus nodes or bookkeepers, but the official the official term is a consensus node. When you elect these consensus nodes, then they come together through a very complicated governance system to generate blocks that the and these blocks are generated about once every 20 seconds, the which ends up allowing Neo to gener to do right around 10,000 transactions per second, one to 10,000 transactions per second, depending on how well the si depending on how well the system is running. That's a really complicated. Um, that's a really complicated back-end thing that's not that important. But if you want more information about that, feel free to comment in the description. Uh, feel free to comment, and I, I can explain it. I'm going to skip over it for right now. So what does the coin actually want to do? What does NEO want to do? NEO wants to build a smart contract ecosystem so that people can actually, well, they can use smart contracts. If you don't know what a smart contract is, basically a smart contract is a, well, it, it's an agreement that's coded into a blockchain where when one thing happens, another thing happens in return. So what does that mean? A lot of people use the example of a house key. So say that you want to rent a house and someone is providing this service in a sort of a Airbnb kind of situation. And they want to be able to get payment for that time you're spending at the house in return for giving the person the key for that house. And the person has to pay in, say, Bitcoin or gas, which is, like I said, the currency behind NEO. What a smart contract would do, essentially, is it, it's a bit of code. It's not that long. It doesn't have to be that long, depending on the smart contract. But it's basically an if-then statement that says, if X amount of Bitcoin determined by the person that owns the house is deposited in X wallet, then the key to the digital key, if we were to have a digital key, to that house would be released to the person that paid for the house. And if both parties agree and the smart contract, the code itself, actually agrees that everything was executed properly in the way that both parties agreed on, then a certain outcome will happen, and in this case, the key would be released to the person that paid. Now, that doesn't sound much different than walking up to someone handing them cash and then them giving you a house key, but it is because it's a lot more secure. There's a lot more ways to track it. There's a there's not really any way to hack it. It's a much more secure system, which is why smart contracts are a very very big thing in cryptocurrency. Another thing that Neo wants to do is they want to build they want to build decentralized applications. Now I'm going to be talking about decentralized applications and uh, decentralized exchanges a lot more in future videos. But basically, a decentralized application uh, are any of these right here. This is a page on Neo's website that shows the current decentralized applications that are built on top of Neo. And these are just the ones that people have come and clicked add a Neo D app. There are probably quite a bit more I'm not going to add a Neo D app because I personally haven't made one. But if you had made one, then you could come here and put it here and get a little bit of free advertising. But Neo but the reason decentralized applications are important is because it allows companies to easily build a blockchain based service, no matter what it is. We we'll, we can get into that later, but we're just talking about Neo for right now. So Neo wants to aim, uh, Neo is aiming to build a smart contract ecosystem, and it's aiming to build a framework for decentralized applications. Two things that are very big and very important in the cryptocurrency space. Now, finally, let's talk about gas. Now, gas is a secondary, a, a sister cryptocurrency to Neo. Basically, gas is the currency to e, uh, Neo's actual uh, share of the company. Think of Neo and gas together being a company and neo is a share of the company and gas is what dividends are paid out in so gas can be paid out in a sort of dividend way i like what this calculator calls it actual dividend that's actually basically what it is it's basically a dividend you can come to this website which will be linked in the description down below all these links will be in the description down below you can type in how many neo you own and you can click calculate and based on theoretical block time generation and, ba and based on actual calculations based on historical data it'll tell you how many gas will be rewarded to you and I should explain that when you are holding one um, Neo, then you get a certain amount of gas. Now, for every block that is mined, well, it's not mined, Our it's not a proof of work system, needed. but for every block that is generated through their system, through their governance system, exactly eight gas are produced. They are exactly eight gas are created. And when those eight gas are created, they are released to the network based on, uh, proportionally based upon the pe proportionally based upon how much Neo you own. So if I own uh, 10 Neo, then per day I'll get this much gas. But if I own 100,000 NEO, then I'll get this much gas. Now it's proportional based on uh, the amount of NEO that you actually own. So it, it's, a, it's a basically a dividend system. So 
if you it, it's similar to how if you have a share and a company then you will get dividends based on how well the company stock does and based on a lot of other factors of course it's more complicated than that it's basically a dividend system and what the gas does is the gas well not the ga gas is used as a currency as a medium of exchange it's used to power the network itself it's what fees are paid out to to these uh, to these consensus nodes and to uh, the bookkeepers which is the same thing they're synonyms but consensus nodes Auto consensus node canceled. is the technical term Anyway, guys, if you want to talk, if you want to come here, and you want to generate uh, gas, it's more or less like staking. If you're familiar with the process of staking, it's basically staking, except you get the coin, you get a different coin, you get gas because gas is the actual currency, and Neo is a share. Which, it being a share, is why it doesn't, why it's not really divisible down below a certain value. It's not divisible down below zero. You can't have 0 0.24739 Apple stock. You can have one Apple stock. It's not. That's not the way that works. It's a share in the company that you could think it's not a company but you could think about it, the company of neo anyway guys that's going to be it for this video i think i've covered a lot of my bases i think i've covered all of the really important ones if you're trying to learn about neo as always if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below and i will do everything in my power to help you figure out the answer to that question and hopefully i'll be able to answer it for you if you're interested you can go ahead and join our discord server the link to that will be in the description down below and i'll probably have a pinned comment if you want to come talk about anything more in depth and chat with me if you think i'm a cool guy if you don't which i don't blame you then you don't have to but that's completely up to you please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video because this video and a lot of my videos take a lot of work and a lot of research to do thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next video Peace out.